What's up guys here for another tutorial and this um this tutorial is for people that want to find out how to make a water, like a waterish effect, I guess. Or um need to know how to use metaballs. Um it's kind of like real flow. Real flow is basically uh metaballs, but it's a lot I guess simpler to use in the way that it's not gonna crash your computer. Um Anyways, let's get started. Uh, one moment. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Um, to do this, you can either, um, affect, you can have, here, I'm just gonna place four spheres. We have a couple spheres here. I'm just gonna resize a couple of them. Move them around. That here-ish, move down to 80, pull that one in, and our last one. Alright, and we'll have this one right here. Now that we have our spheres like this, they kind of got to be close together for this to work. Um, you can come into the array tab and there's the meta ball and if you drag and drop all your meta balls into well all your spheres into your meta ball sorry it gives you this um kind of like blobby look and this is because um and if we render it you can still see there's like uh you can see like the cubes and the rough edges but um i'll show you how to fix this the editor subdivision, the lower this is, the, um, uh, the the more subdivided it's gonna get. See, I'm lowering it and it's getting more and more subdivided. I'm gonna bring this down to four and that's gonna extremely subdivide it and it will lag your computer, so um, watch out. But now look, it's very smooth and it's nice and um, if you want you can you can keyframe like a sphere like if I have this sphere and I move it around you can see the it kind of like shapes our object here you can kind of see it it looks organic and um, makes it kind of look like a blob but for the water effect it's kind of the same but not really you grab an emitter, like so, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a sphere, we're going to change it to 10, and we're going to drop it into our emitter. I'm going to click show objects so that we can see it coming out, and you're going to change the birth rate in the editor and the birth rate in the render to 30 by 30. So now when we click it, um, we can see all our spheres coming out. <clears throat> and now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add where's it? gravity like so so that they fall because water falls and um, and next I'm just gonna grab a meta ball and I'm gonna drop the emitter into the meta ball and if you look at it now uh, it kind of looks like a block of shit. And it kind of looks really weird. And to fix this, all you need to do is lower down your um, your subdivision render. So you can do like 5. Actually, I'm going to crank this up to 50 by 50 because the uh, more there are, more it's going to look like it's water. You can see now, kind of looks like it's water. It's pouring out. It's falling down. Uh, the beginning looks a lot like water, and then this part right here kind of looks like diarrhea, and then it kind of falls apart down here. Um, I wonder if there's a water, uh, which I'm gonna call it material, in uh, the what should I call it? What's this called? Content browser. Cinema 4D content browser. 
Oh, there's glass. Kind of looks like water, but not really. Let's drag that out there for now. Um, just quickly going through here. Don't want to take too much time. Oh. Um, not that I can see. I don't see any, um, whatchamacallit thingamabobbers. So anyways, we're just gonna throw the glass on there. I don't see why not. <laughs> kind of looks like water. It's kind of too transparent. Just lower that down to like 75 maybe. There you go. Yeah, kind of, but not really. But anyways, it gives you the the view of kind of like water anyway. And, um, oh, you can, I wonder if you can put a rigid body on the spheres and still have this happen. Okay. Oh, now they're all over the place. See, they come out fine. It, it looks like they're fine, but then as soon as you hit the stop play button, they kind of shoot all over. Um, let's. I'm just gonna create a cube real quick. I'm gonna drag it right here. I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make it editable. I'm gonna go in polygon mode. Delete the top one. Gonna have that selected. Go diamond dynamics collider. And if I press play, they go through it. But if I click stop, they don't. They think there's a a top there, but there isn't. Oh my gosh! Maybe if I drop it on the emitter. I'm trying that. Oh, well, the emitter's going everywhere. Oh, man. This is not good. Anyways, um, if you can find a way how to make them fall into a glass or something, that's cool. But um, this is basically the way. Oh, or you can put colliders. Sorry. Uh, before I finish, I'll just. I think I went over this in a previous emitter tutorial, but there's a uh, deflectors. Sorry, kind of uh, got that wrong. Oh, why'd I do that? Okay, yeah, and then you can move it, change the size of it to like 500 by 500. Like so. And then you can have a wall, so it's like, 200 tall, no, wrong one, 200 tall, drag it over here, put that right there, drag that, so let's do this, one moment, getting a phone call, alright, I'm back, I'm just gonna finish making this thing, um, what view can I make it in, this view, um, okay, <clears throat> just gonna put that there, copy, paste, that uh, make another one put it on this side oh, copy and paste both of these wait make sure I got the right two copy paste rotate that 90 not oops whoa 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 okay rotate that 90 degrees all right now let's see what happened. Oh, I forgot to. There we go. Oh, I... what is happening? Where'd the emitter go? It's right there. I delete it. Yeah. If now that we have, if we go to the emitter and we put bounds down to like five percent or something. It's gonna pour in 
why in the world is it breaking out? And pouring out. Well, that's just lovely. Anyways, that's the tutorial. No, it's a fail. Um, like it if you like it. Comment if you have any questions. Um, subscribe to me if you're not. Could always use more subscribers. And hmm, yeah. Peace out, guys.